Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Burns and this is the Digital Photography Course, The Beginner's Tutorial. Congratulations, you've just purchased your first camera. It's either a DSLR or a mirrorless. It doesn't really matter either one or what brand it is. None of these things matter. They never do. The only thing that does matter is that you want to learn photography, you have a keen eye, and over the years you'll find that it does improve and your eye will get sharper and sharper and your images will get better and better. That's all that matters. The brand doesn't matter. What lenses you have, that may matter. We'll talk about that later. In fact, let's go through what we're going to learn. ISO, shutter speed, aperture, lenses, focus point, focus systems, exposure settings, flash, white balance, and metering systems. And then when we get all those things together, we'll learn how to shoot manually. And we can get away from those automatic settings. But I'll explain what they are as well. So congratulations, you've bought your first camera. But let's have a look. Is it a DSLR or a mirrorless? I'll quickly go through what DSLR means. So this is an old film camera from the 1970s. You can see the film would have gone in here, would have been transported across here and collected on this side. The film would have stopped in the middle. And then when the shutter was open, it would have been exposed here. The only difference is between a film camera and a DSLR, the design hasn't changed except now there's a digital sensor in its place of film. Otherwise, it's the same. So SLR DSLR, it means digital single lens reflex. So single lens, the lens goes to the front and it's got a reflex action. So what's the reflex action? Well, it's actually on the lens. The lens, has an aperture inside. It's basically a hole inside the lens. It can be big, it can be small. We'll talk about aperture in a little while. But the reflex action is that you can open and close that aperture ring automatically. And the reason why that's important is because when you go to take a photo, the aperture closes down to the aperture that you actually want and then pops back up to a great big hole and it stays there all the time until you take another photo where it goes to the aperture nice and small etc that you've chosen. You may even choose a photo that's got a big aperture in it and won't move at all. It'll just stay there. But there's a reflex action there. As you take a photo the mirror slaps out of the way, the shutter opens but that aperture opens and closes to your desired setting. That's the DSLR, the single lens reflex. The other important thing I want to show you with this camera is that when I open that shutter, the mirror moves out of the way and so does the shutter and I can put my finger through the camera. There's nothing there. Now that's important. That's one of your first lessons because if I can do that, what that means is that there's nothing between the subject and the sensor except your lens. It's the only thing in between. So the quality of your lens, which we'll discuss later, well, that is a big issue. If you have a good quality lens, and that's the only thing in between you and your subject, you'll get a better photo. We'll discuss that later. But now, it's the mirrorless. So if I take the cover off, and we have a look, there is no mirror box, there is no shutter to see, you can see the sensor straight away. So there is actually a mechanical shutter in here, and there is an electronic shutter as well. The other thing is, because it doesn't have a mirror box, it's thinner. The difference between the two when you're taking an actual photograph is when you're using a DSLR, what you're looking through is the lens. When you're taking a photo with a mirrorless camera, what you're looking through, through the viewfinder, is a digital reproduction of what you're looking at. It's like a little TV set inside the viewfinder. Both are good, both have pitfalls as well. So it doesn't matter which one you have, the theory of photography is still going to apply no matter which one you own. All right, so now with that, let's get started. And the first thing we'll do is we'll have a look at ISO. 